Hello, Julian here, and welcome to MemberScript 26. So this one is pretty exciting, uh, just because it is a very, very common feature that a lot of sites have. It was possible before through workarounds and whatnot, but this is a much better way to go about it. So here I am on this page, and I am not logged in. Um, so let's just say, for example, I want to go, if I like this, I want to like something. And a modal popped up, a custom modal, and then we have these. Um, this is just, you know, a placeholder thing. You could put whatever you want in here. Anyways, point is, uh, this is going to take me to the sign up page where I am going to just go and write some nonsense because this is the test account. And then I'm going to sign up. And what's going to happen is, well, it is going to take me here to this dashboard page. Um, but then this is what you're probably going to do most of the time. But uh, just for demonstration's sake, to, to go back to the same page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that. Now we're back on this home page, as you can see. And what we have here is these buttons. But now if I go ahead and click one, it's actually going to like, and it's going to work. And if I refresh, those things will remain liked. Um, so basically what we're doing here is gating content with modals. Instead of just blocking features completely, we show people that they're here and they exist, but then we tell them they need to sign up when they click them. So very common use case. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna use this one. Anyways, without further ado, let's talk about actually getting it done. So here we are in Webflow and what we have is, well, we've got two elements um, that matter in this case. We have a lot more than that total. Uh, so we have this button here. And this button is the one that allows you to like it using member script 20. That's neither here nor there for this video. We have an attribute applied to this, which is ms-code-gate-modal-trigger. Yes, I know it's long, but we're trying to keep these from conflicting with each other. Uh, and then the value is x. So x is a placeholder, and I'm going to show you why. We also have this custom modal that we have built here. And if I go ahead and click it like so, then what we're going to see is that everything here is styled the way we want. Here, it just links to the sign up page. This for you would have, you know, whatever attributes or links or whatever it may be that you actually want to have applied to it. Doesn't matter. But on the outer here, we have the attribute, that's not where they are, attribute ms code dash gate dash modal dash box equals x. And the reason it's x is because we want to line it up with this. So this is exciting because it's not just an upgrade modal. You can't just, it's not only having one of those. What's happening is you can have a whole bunch of different features on the same page and a whole bunch of different modals. And then if someone clicks like, you can customize it so that a modal will open up that says, you can only like things if you're logged in, whatever, and show them a plan that makes sense for them. Let's say they try to click one of the actual boxes themselves. It says you can only view content. You can go crazy with this. You can customize it. All you need to do is map the values to each other. So the trigger is X and the box is X. So other than that, first of all, before you publish, just, you know, hide your modal. Um, and also it sets it to flex, which I think is what the majority of people do with these modals to begin with. Just so, you know, we could center everything inside of it. Um, but just keep that in mind, it's going to set it to flex. So if you don't have flex styled, then well, it's not going to function the way you want it to. Anyways, let's hide this. And then other than that, of course, what you're going to need to do is paste in member script 26. And you are not going to need to change anything here, except let's say you're using block for some reason. I don't, you might, then you could change this to block. And there you go. And you'll notice these things here that are commented out. And the reason for that is because let's say your button links to another page. Let's say these linked out to specific pages for whatever these items are. Then, well, we can't have a link because then the modal is not going to pop up and it's just going to, you know, ruin the whole thing. So instead, what we have is some things in here, which you can simply go ahead and delete the comment and it'll work. And then this one will, it's just to remove certain attributes. If you have custom attributes that you want to remove, you can go ahead and copy the line, paste it, you're good to go. Um, so this will just make sure to, let's say, break the functionalities that you don't want to happen when someone is not logged in. In my case, these do not link anywhere, so I don't need to have any of these. You might. And that's about it. So that is how to gate content with modals, with simple custom Webflow modals, one script, two attributes, you're good to go. 
Hope you enjoy. If you have any problems, then just send me an email, julianamemberstack.com or 2.0 Slack. I will see you there. Have a great day.